What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So we're back with some more of that Vinland Saga episode 14. Last episode, I this the highlight for me. Well, it almost like it was like a build up because episode 12, uh, Canute, you know, he said a few words. That was cool. I appreciate it. But last episode, he kind of popped off a little bit. Like he is almost like he had enough of Thorfinn, like just talking that shit. You know, he even said, "No one has ever talked to me this way." But again, like I said in the last uh, video, I think it was it was uh, it was it was kind of fitting because they're the same age, and yeah, they were brought up differently. I mean, obviously, Thorfinn went from being this very you know good kid who had a good dad, good family, and then all of a sudden he's been turned thrown into this world of just straight hatred and fighting and trying to take down this guy who you know killed his dad and then you got Canute who kind of just tried to been keeping to himself for his whole life and even Ragnar even said he was just he just put his head down tried not to draw attention to himself so he's been kind of just he just kind of been keeping to himself so they're so they're they were kind of brought up completely opposite really but Canute just kind of popped off and he, he said some things and he had everybody's attention he had my attention and I am curious to see how that d dynamic is going to uh, change here in the future between Canute and Thorfinn. But, I mean, I like it. Like I said, Canute, you definitely gained some respect from your boy. You know, keep that talking going. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, I'm ready for this next episode. Hopefully, you guys are as well. So, uh, let's go ahead and dive on into it. Hello? Hold on, who can hack the hub? Why are you continue to forget us? Why have you... God? Wait. Oh, I guess they're praying? Pure. Wait, why is, what's wrong with her hands? Okay, who is she? What is her connection? But she seems like she's heavily religious. What is she doing? Why do her hands look like that? That's what I'm more concerned about. Like, it... I don't know what the hell this episode started with, but I'm curious. <laughs> okay, so it almost seems like this is gonna be this episode is gonna be focused a lot more on the religious aspect. I'm guessing. Oh, they're brothers. I know. I never knew that. Did they mention that before? <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness where's this conversation going <laughs> what is what is going on here <laughs> he's a well it depends on how much but hey it's that bond yeah Ooh. he's gonna be like no you ain't my brother yeah, he said he's, I can do because he's my brother. I mean, that's true. I wouldn't trust a drunk man to have my back either. Shoot. <laughs> oh. Shit. Are we talking about Dorusu? Y'all got y'all ass whooped by Dorusu. Mm, then he took them arrows like a champ, man. Because he didn't want to kill y'all. He was just trying to freaking defend himself and the people he was trying to protect. What? What? What is this priest so, it got, so intrigued for all of a sudden? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Does does he know Thor's? Or I don't. Mm, maybe not Thor's himself, but maybe that's the love he was looking for. Like I I don't know. I, I, it's kind of going over my head, but he's still sitting on these words. But. I don't know, man. I don't know. Ah. Yeah, like let him know. My men have been through hell and back. This little snow ain't gonna hold us back. Uh oh, hold on, hold on, my guy. Get it up. This man Ragnar. Oh, he don't even really care. He's just more concerned about the, the prince, which I understand. 
But you also gotta think, you know, this is a, you don't have to worry about being attacked. <laughs> it don't depend on luck. Yeah, what, what's the hesitation for, my guy? What you scared of? Yeah, like, let them know, like, bitch, this is what we do. Oh, do not tell me they're going to the village that we just saw that girl from in the beginning. Oh, shit. Okay, so maybe her hands are, like, all beat up because she, she's just, like, a laborer. Yeah, this is definitely a, uh... Uh, uh, seems like it's a religious focused episode. Ooh, I mean, so that's a way to put it, I guess. Though I personally, I personally don't like to even talk about subjects like this just because it's a very touchy subject. Um, but, I mean, for the sake of the episode, I'll allow it. <laughs> oh, moral though, is just be a good person. Don't be an asshole. Don't be a, you know... You know, just don't be trying to hurt people, you know? Try to do right by people and do right by yourself. Do right, you know, for yourself, you know? Hello? He hello? What the fuck am I looking at? Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. They said them Danes is evil and them Danes about to be on your doorstep. D face went into the snow? Like, I mean... It's cold. So what, yeah, what is she putting in this goddamn tree? Like, what is this that she gotta keep going out there for? A ring? Wait, was she married or promised to be married to someone? May uh, or has she found it, stole it? She probably found it. Or stole it. I mean, it, I don't want to talk about this. I really don't. Like, I'm trying to... Uh, like, obviously, I have things that I want to say, but I'm just not going to say them just because, again, I don't want to touch on that subject. But... Oh, never mind. That's Yorn. Okay. For some reason, I, they just look different. Okay, that's fine. Oh, shit. She's, she's literally about to witness her family get slaughtered. But thou hast utterly rejected us. Thou art very worth... Roth again. Oh shit. And he's trying to warn them. Uh oh, bro, bro. Are you not seeing the signs here? They just barge into your house. Well, you must not be that hungry, bitch. Shit. <laughs> she said, bitch, don't be wasting my goddamn. I'm sorry, but I'd be conflicted. I would be fucking conflicted. I'm like, hmm, do I check on her or do I whoop this motherfucker's ass? Like, it's like, hmm, fuck it. Your ass getting whooped. Wow, 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 wow. As a man of the fucking household, you got one job. Protect your household. I'm gonna fuck with this motherfucker. Two, three motherfuckers in here. I'm going down fighting. I know that fucking much. It ain't gonna be easy. Shit. Damn. This is crazy, though. And again, she's... On and she's witnessing all of this. I mean, you um, listen, you got two options. You can go there and get captured with everyone else, you know, join the party, or you can just dip out. <laughs> oh. He said, Bitch, warn a motherfucker again. He said, Just leave, leave us half. You can take the rest, just leave us half. Okay, that, now the father's coming out of him. See, first it was the man, then it was the father. He's like, motherfucker, I got a goddamn baby to feed. Oh, but ask class, like, oh, baby, too bad. Oh, right, because you, you, you ain't going to live through it. That's why. Right, so it would be it would be suffering for them to live if they don't have any food. They're literally just gonna die a terrible death. It's crazy how, like, oh, that whole thought process right there. Like I said, she's literally about to witness her family and entire village get slaughtered. And I, I wonder if she's gonna be. One of those people who, like, she's gonna assume, like, this was her fault because she stole that ring. Like, this is maybe 
her punishment. Yeah. Man, she's just walking in the snow. All alone. No family to return to. No village to return to. Uh oh, is it, is it, is it, uh... Is it finally sinking in? She's probably done walked who knows how long. Yep, now she gotta talk to the big man. Oh, she's concerned. She's like, she's like, did my, did my fam bam make it up there? Yeah, you can definitely tell she lived more of a, a sheltered kind of life. She was just like uh, a hard laborer, you know? And this was like reality slapping her in the face. Like, there's more out there. There's a lot of more evils out there than you taking some ring. Hello? Did she just collapse in the snow or what? She went on, she went on a cliff, so I know she didn't jump off. But she just has a thing for like literally face planting the snow for some reason. I mean, I... I that was an episode. Like, it definitely focused a lot on that on chick i feel like this it might be like more of a one and done kind of thing i don't think i don't think we'll see her again um it just kind of like again this episode seemed to focus a lot more on like just that religious aspect and just kind of how some people like feel strongly about it um and like i said uh, quite a few times i don't know how much i left in the video but i just didn't really want to touch on that subject because again it's more of a touchy subject and i would much rather not speak on it but i mean for the most part it's just like you know it covered the basis of uh just be a good person you know don't you know try to fuck anyone over uh you know just again do right and she had this conflict of this internal conflict of you know she stole something and she felt bad about it but she she just she couldn't help herself she still she was it was like she she felt bad about it but she was still happy to have it but she was just every time she would look at it she was just like oh i can't believe i did this but look how it looks on my hand you know so and it just goes to show you so it's like i mean yes there are temptations out there and y you you do give in to them sometimes and whether you're a good person deep down or a bad person i mean everyone goes through these these internal battles of wrong and right and it, she still was looking out for her family concerned that they were gonna you know she was like just she just obviously you can tell she cared about her family and again to see them literally get slaughtered along with the whole village right before her eyes and um i know she she kept saying at the end like she felt elated uh about you know like the fact that there are people out there that don't fear you know the big man's judgment and i don't know if she i mean i'm pretty sure a lady is more like um I don't, I don't really know the definition for that i feel like it's more like something like surprised or um um maybe caught off guard or something along those lines i mean i would have to look it up i don't feel like doing that <laughs> i'm sure you guys might say something um but um I, I just feel like maybe it helped her kind of come to terms with the fact that she stole that ring. I mean, it's like, yes, yeah, she fears his judgment, but the fact that she came across people that are far worse than her that were, could kill people and not, you know, feel bad about it, which, again, given... Uh, Askeladd is such a, a, a confusing individual the more I watch this show because... It's like I, I hear what he says, but it's almost like his face almost doesn't match the things he says. Because uh, even going back to when he was talking about Thor's way back when of, you know, just pretty much you can tell he had respect for Thor's. And then he even mentioned again in episode uh, 12 uh, when he was talking to the, the commander dude. And just again, it's like he says these things and but... It's like, again, like I said, he has like that snake tongue. Like sometimes he says things, but he don't really mean them. And just like when we found out in the last episode that he don't like Danes. I'm like, well, that well, I was caught off guard by that. But we also learned more about his past and the fact that, you know, you know, who his mom was, who his dad was. And just I just feel like he's such a comp complex individual. And I'm 
I feel like I understand them, but I don't understand them. So I'm um, hopefully by the end of this series, I'll understand him a little bit more. Uh, hopefully he'll explain himself a lot more. So, uh, but uh, yeah, this was a good episode. I enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot more laid back. It, like I say, it was focused on this certain aspect of like the religious, uh, this religious aspect. But also, I am still curious about why the priest was so uh, excited or enticed or 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 um like he was just so intrigued by when they mentioned thor's and like i get it he's looking for love but is this his type of love that he's looking for someone who who you know i just don't know man i don't know i'm pretty sure if i i'm probably gonna think more about it once i turn this camera off but yeah again it was a good episode left me with a few questions that i'll probably be thinking about but uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i will see y'all in the next one peace